Hi, I'm Craig. Stay tuned for my comments after the video. This concludes another day of broadcast activity from the studios of WDTN Dayton, located at 4595 South Dixie Avenue. WDTN is owned and operated by the Hearst Broadcasting Corporation. We will return to the air in a few hours with your favorite programs. WDTN and STL Transmitter KUQ43 are operated by the authority of the Federal Communications Commission. The WDTN Transmitter is located at 3777 Pine Town Road, Dayton, Ohio, and broadcasts with an authorized power of 100,000 watts visual and 20,000 watts oral. Please send us your comments and suggestions on our programs and signal reception. Have a pleasant good night and good morning. Makes no difference where I go. You're the best hometown I know. Hello, Dayton. Hello, Dayton. TV2 loves you. We just watched the full station sign-off for WDTN TV2 in Dayton, Ohio that was used in 1987. This included the end-of-day station announcement, playing of the national anthem, and a test pattern. Sign-off announcements were used back before TV stations became 24 hours. Like we saw in the video, it usually described technical aspects of a TV station and was often followed by a playing of the national anthem in some form. In this video, the sign-off announcement described technical aspects of Dayton Station WDTN's transmitter. It was followed by a local high school band playing the national anthem in front of the Air Force Museum. The band was from Stevens High School and was probably filmed back in the early 1980s or even the late 1970s. You may think the colors are wrong for Stebbins, but in 1987, Stebbins' colors were still blue and gold. After the band finished, a test pattern was shown. TV stations weren't always 24 hours. Back in the old days, many of them signed off the air after a day of programming. This usually included some playing of the national anthem, like you saw in the video. Before the days of cable, stations would actually sign off, leaving nothing but static, like the famous scene in the 1982 movie Poltergeist. After the national anthem played and the TV switched over to static, the little girl approached the TV, hearing ghosts, and declared, They're here. It was a great scene for its time, but unfortunately, today, it's as novel and outdated as payphones, triptychs, and encyclopedia salesmen. Once stations started being carried by cable systems, many continued to broadcast a test pattern with their logo or call letters like we saw in this video with WDTN TV2 in Dayton, Ohio. When this video originally aired, many of the stations in Dayton had already switched over to 24 hours. In fact, when I ran across this video, I was surprised to see that Channel 2 was still signing off as late as 1987. But if I think back, I kind of remember that being the case. Well, that's my commentary for this video. If you like these retro videos, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up, click the notification bell, and leave a comment. 
All these things really help the channel. Keep watching for more retro videos like this and other retro videos like Retro Talk. Take care of yourself and look out for others. Talk to you later. Bye. This video brought to you by Stockagogo.com Stock Photos.